Hello guys, and welcome to the first episode of Bit Trip Runner. Um, I've heard a lot about this game and seen a couple of videos of it, but not played any of it. So, uh, we'll get into it and see how we do, shall we? I've seen a lot of stuff that says it's more suited to like an iPod or Apple, no, iPod or iPhone or something like that game. But no matter what, we're going to play it. Right, so numpad 5, J or space. Um, numpad 5 we'll use. Oh, brilliant. I wasn't looking at the screen, something <laughs> something flashed outside, I don't know what. But I looked out my window. That's first death already. How terrible is that? Okay. Okay. This seems fairly easy at the moment, but I'm sure it will get a lot harder later on. I'm pretty damn sure it will get a lot harder, actually. I mean, at the moment, it's extremely easy. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know how long the, the levels were, so I didn't know how long to make each episode, but I'm guessing I'm not going to have it as just that being the episode, because that was like a minute. Ooh, retro challenge. I guess there's more of these. Oh, damn it, I thought that was a fire. I jumped over it. It was fucking gold, which made me land on the other fire. Ouch, 19 out of... Is that 85? I can't even tell what that number is. I guess it's 85. It's quite loud when I look at the game. Let me turn it down a little bit. On my uh, speakers. Second one. I hope this one's a bit harder. <laughs> okay, there's little holes. Doesn't make it any harder though at the moment. Peaceful though. <sighs> Still fairly easy. I haven't really got anything to talk about because <laughs> I'm not like raging or anything because it's, as I just said, very easy. I just turned around to look at my door because I thought someone had come in my room. But then I'd quickly turn my head back, realising that was a terrible decision in the middle of this sort of game. No one had come in my way. 25, so... What's this challenge then? Oh. Same one, or... Just a different version? Slightly different. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I couldn't jump for that gold and get, get past it easily. Oh, oh well. I wonder if they're all out of 85, all those bonus ones. Oh, yay, I knew it was going to come along at some point, something new. Slide. Okay, so we've got jump and slide now. I don't know why I slid there. I can see it getting a lot harder. I can imagine that I have to use all the num keys, probably, or something like that, for a whole bunch of them to do different moves. If you haven't got this, it's uh, this week, or I'm not sure if it's this week, but fairly newly. That's not a word, probably. But um, they've got the cube pack on Steam, which is £7 for six games that are cube, cube based. And this is one of those cube based games. Along with the game Cube, as in Q U B E, um, Rush, Edge, Critical Mass, and blocks that matter so you get those six games for seven pounds or ten dollars I don't know how much it is in America um, but that was definitely a good deal and I bought that the other day so you might see some of those other games as well these bonus levels are kind of easy oh I have to slide now too oh damn it <laughs> I can't get the timing right for jumping and then landing and jumping or sliding again straight afterwards 
Plus, you can't go back and just retry those retro, le retro levels because you have to do the whole level before them. Okay, no new moves yet. Kind of easy. That UFO was a bit unexpected. I didn't have to jump over it or slide under it, but I thought jumping over it, I would hit myself on it. So I think I made the right decision. Unless you can jump over them as well, but I'm probably not going to test it now. There's three zones or worlds at the moment, and each world has like 12 levels. So it's not too long a game, but I guess as it gets harder, it will take me much longer to get through the levels than this. It's nice and peaceful at the moment, to be honest. I just know it's going to get worse. Okay, with the rainbow guy again. Oh, and we got all the gold again, so we got another retro level. I think I could probably do the whole of Zone 1 in this episode. Or, well, I say that, but I know it's going to... As I've said multiple times now, it's going to get harder, and I don't know how soon it gets harder, so I might not be able to. Okay. Okay. Oh, missed that one. Missed that one too. Okay, got that one. Oh, I hit that one. Okay. I don't know what you get from the gold, really, because I seem to be collecting a lot of it for no particular reason. <laughs> Unless if I got all gold in that, I'd get another retro level, but I can't see that happening, because that would be a bit annoying. Unstoppable Mr. Video. Oh, a new button. Kick. Can you just hold? No, you can't just hold it. It changes it back. Okay, so I've got jump, jump slide, and kick. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I had to kick those. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have just ran into them. definitely going to get a bit fiddly now that I've got a few more buttons on the go. <sighs> it's one where I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to talk a lot because I'm concentrating too much. But yeah, I don't know what sort of games you guys want to see. If you want to see me just do like mini games like this or do like a whole playthrough of a game like Battlefield. I don't know, I, could, I haven't played the Battlefield storyline and if you wanted to see me do a Battlefield single player playthrough, I wouldn't mind doing that. Because I'm going to play it at some point anyway. Um, or if you want to see some of those other six cube games or cube based games, then I would be happy to do those as well. Or if you want to suggest something completely different, then I'd be happy to play most games on video, really. I can imagine we have to kick something this retro level as well now. Oh, it's so hard to spam that button to get you to jump. <laughs> oh well. I've got no more school now, though. I'm done for two months. Oh, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> I'm done with school for two months now, so. Videos every day, probably. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna. Probably, I've got two months with nothing, so. I can't believe that like, the only time I've died, not in the retro mode, is the first level, <laughs> because I wasn't concentrating. Every time I talk I seem to do something almost wrong, so <laughs> I kind of don't want to talk, but then again it makes boring videos if I don't talk. That's a fairly easy one though. Yep, that's another one passed. Hmm. Should be able to get through a fair amount of it in this episode then, or a fair amount in the first zone at least. I don't know how hard the other ones are. Oh damn it! I landed on the. <laughs> ah, that gap does not look traversable to me. Doobie 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 doobie. 
Oh, fantastic. Oh, I didn't even know there was a thing there. I just pressed it just to see what it did. And I guess you have to do it on those pink blocks. Or prisms. Or cubes. Or, well, they're not cubes, but you know what I mean. Those pink things. Oh, damn it, Mr. Gold. Oh, and I died. Okay. Here we go. It's where it's going to get. So if I don't do it, it just... Okay, it just runs over it. So I guess I do have to... Press it. Oh. Oh, I almost missed it. Oh, I pressed jump. <sighs> Here we go. Now I'm not going to be able to pass it. <laughs> nice cool music. Oh, it did it a bit late there. Oh, how was I meant to get that gold? Well, at least I got the plus thing. I can see a lot of button mashing coming in the like, second and third zone, just me <laughs> having to spam the buttons to get through it, because I'm doing it a little bit now. And there's lots of up, down, down, jump. Oh, we didn't get the retro level this one. Oh. I missed that one gold, which I don't see how I was supposed to get. Not a problem, though. Right. I haven't been reading any of the level names, but you can read those guys. I wasn't ready to press that again. Oh, I missed a gold again. Oh, well. Oh! Didn't see it. I just saw lots of shiny things on the screen and just assumed it was another shiny thing. Okay, that's how I get it. Ah, oh, I should have gone down. Oh, balls. Well, at least I can get that gold again now. Almost missed it. <laughs> Oh, missed that one. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so when it's that up, then down thing, sort of thing, I have to just not press anything to get onto the next platform. Whoa. Really? Ah, oh, Christ. Oh, I haven't had any kicking recently. Okay. Oh, well, I missed the gold. Oh, well, at least I'm still alive. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Also, in these holidays, I don't know how many videos you'd sort of like to see of, of what. I don't know if to play like a bit. Oh damn it! I don't know if to. I was going to put up the plan was to do a expedition video each day, a capture the monument, ugh, capture the monument video. So at the moment, Valley of Fire, and when I'm finished with that, a different one. Because they seem kind of popular at the moment. There may be like a mod, either like a mod or ugh, a mod review. I can't talk and do this because I keep failing. <clears throat> either a mod review or a playthrough of me using a mod. So like a, se a, a series of like like the Yogbox series, but with something different. Or maybe the Yogbox again, but that hasn't really been changed too much at the moment. So. But something new, and then uh, an episode of um, the something like this, which is like maybe shorter episodes, or well, I don't know how long this is going to be, so I can't really say that. But you know what I mean. Um, one which is like a serious storyline to a game, like like a Battlefield storyline or a Diablo, or just something else that I buy. And then something that's just like a bit of fun type thing. So like all the block game ones. So the plan was five episodes. And I don't expect all my subscribers to watch every one of those. Just the ones that you pick and choose that you'd like to see really. 
and maybe when I play Battlefield, I record a game every now and then and post it. Even though I know I'm not good at it. Thanks everyone who's commented that. I know. I've only played like eight games of it at the moment, so <laughs> I haven't had too much practice. Um, I always find that when I'm not recording, because I have realised it uses up quite a bit of space on the computer. Whenever I'm not recording, I get good, good games. But I think it's like this where I'm talking whilst playing. I get distracted by the talking and I can't play it properly. Oh damn, that was a fiddly one. Um, when I'm silent playing this, <laughs> I seem to be a bit better than when I'm chatting about it, which is how Battlefield has turned out, really. Like, when I'm recording and talking to you guys, I'm getting, like, either even or slightly below or just slightly above my, in my KDR. Whereas when I'm just playing it and just talking to squad mates and stuff, I'm getting, like, well, well, not well above, but a fair few above my... A fair few more kills than I am deaths. Oh Christ, this is fiddly. Oh, flipping heck! I jumped to get that flipping plus sign, and I'm I'm assuming I was meant to press... Oh, I just missed that. <clears throat> I'm assuming I was meant to press 8. Or up, or whatever it is, to spring. Well, I'm using the numpad, so it's 8 for me. Come on. Oh dear. Come on. Yes. Yes. Those UFO, these UFO bits are really fiddly. I almost missed eight again there. Oh!